Hi guys. Hello. Hi, Eric. Good evening. Hi, Pablo. Good evening. How are you? Hello? I can't listen to you. I'm sorry, Eric. It's like on mute. Pablo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, and you? How's your day? Yeah, I, um, I think it it was really okay. Okay. Um, I was just um returning from my work, but I I think um since tomorrow I am not gonna <gasps> go to work again. I am gonna start work here in in, in my home. house. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to start with the home office, so I am really happy um, about it because I am a little scared <laughs> with all of this thing that is happening right now. So, but yeah. I am really cool right now. Okay. Where do you work, Pablo? Remind me, where do you work? Um, I am working in Getcom in ah, okay. Avianca's account. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're going to start working home office for Avianca, but from home. Yeah, right? correct. Yeah, that's correct. I am going to be an at voluntary change, cha um, change, voluntary changes department. Okay. Okay. Super. Well, good luck with that then. Now that you're going to be home. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, today, we spoke a little bit about yesterday. I don't know if you remember the past. I'm sorry. It was the present perfect, right? So yesterday we spoke a little bit about the present perfect. Yeah. So today we're going to be doing the present perfect continuous. So what's the difference for you between present perfect and present perfect continuous? What do you think? What's the difference? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Between present perfect and present perfect continuous. What do you guys think is the difference? I think the difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous is when we are talking about present perfect, we are talking about that we are doing something right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And when we are gonna talk about the present continuous, we are gonna continue con with the activity on the future and we don't know how, how long it's gonna, take, a, it's gonna okay. take us in time. Okay, very good. For example, you were saying that you maybe you stayed later than expected today because tomorrow you're not going to work, right? Because of the situation, okay? So it could be yeah. a present result. A exactly. present continuous can be a present result. When it's a, I, have, I have been working for many hours. That's the reason why I'm very tired. So you started working very, very early and you went up all the way to very, very late, and that's the reason why you feel tired. So, yes, you can actually uh, present, you can present the present perfect continuous as a finished or unfinished action. If it's a finished action, we have here on the picture that uh, it's going to be a present result, okay? So the time that you, that you took during the day to do something, for example, during the present, today, today is present. So it took you many hours to work prior to, tomorrow's okay. quarantine um also 
for the present perfect continuous, we have temporary situations, okay? I have been going to the gym a lot recently, for example, that's our example, but you could say, I have been going to my backyard a lot recently because I'm under quarantine. So I haven't been going, I have not been going out to the supermarket or to the pharmacy because I can't, I, I really don't need it right now. But I'm using have or has for the present, okay? And the verb, instead of being in the past participle, in this occasion is going to be with ing, okay? So then we have on, for unfinished situations, we have for how long? I have believed in for how long? It's very interesting because for how long we're going to use since, okay? Or we can use for, since and for. For example, I have been living in London for two years. Usually, if you notice in this case, when we use for, it's going to be closed, very specific, okay? For two years, no more than that. So that's why we call it closed. When we use since, is that perhaps it has not stopped. I have been working here since 2004, okay? And we are in 2020, 2020? Okay, we're in 2020. So what happened here? We're still working. So when we use since, it's more, it's more like an open situation than when we use for. For is very specific, guys, okay? This is for you to know. Uh, we, use it, we use it with since, we use it with for. This is to determine how long in a sentence, okay? Always with ing. And the structure is going to be the same as present perfect with the difference that the verb, instead of being in the past participle, it's going to be ing. Let's do a couple of exercises just to practice like yesterday, because I like to do, I love grammar more than rules and explaining this. I think that grammar, it's better with exercises. And why not? Super cool exercises from our best friend, YouTube, okay? So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Is everybody able to see my screen? Yeah? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. super. Yes. Perfect. Now, this exercise is present perfect. So today we're going to practice both. You're going to give me an example with the present perfect, and also you're going to give me an example with the present perfect continuous. Let's do the first one as an example. That way you have an idea how the exercise will flow along, along the way. For example, here it says choose a right sentence, but let's take a look. I'm gonna get it, okay. I'm going to explain you as we go along with the exercise. Let's take a look at the first picture. Who is he? Do you know him? E.T. 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 E okay, try to give me a sentence using this A and B. Try to give me a sentence of E.T whether using headphones or using a shawl with it, which is like a scarf, using like a shawl, but using it in present perfect. And the sentence using present perfect continues. Who wants to give it a try? That's E.T. Mm -hmm. So the scenario is E.T. And I need one sentence in present perfect and one sentence in present perfect continuous. ET, let's start by saying that ET is a third person. So we would say has, right? Or have. Has. Very has. good. Has. Okay, so ET has. Uh, ET has, uh, has been using the shawl when he drive the bike or we okay. drive the bike. Excellent. E.T. has been using the shawl or a shawl when he's, now remember yesterday we spoke about the difference between riding and driving. Remember? Driving. Yes, yes. driving is when you're doing it, but riding is when you're the passenger. Ah, okay. Dr driving the, the bike. Okay. No, he's, he's not driving. Mm -hmm. um, Say it again, please. I'm sorry. So everybody listen. E.T. Uh, E.T. has been using a shawl when he a shawl? 
a child uh, when he is driving. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Super. Uh, I like that. Uh huh. Very good. Uh, okay. Thank can you. you write it? Can you write it on the on the chat so everybody's able to see it and they start getting the hang of present perfect? Anybody else? Now I, I already have an example with shawl. For those of you who have seen the movie, can you come up with an example for the headphones? With present perfect, it's okay if you use present perfect or present perfect continuous. We already have one with present perfect continuous. So if you can use one with headphones, ET, and present perfect. Who wants to give it a try? He has been losing his headphones before they go to the park, for example. Okay. He has been losing his headphones. It or he or it has been losing. Let's use instead of the ing, let's use the present perfect. It has lost his headphones before he went to the park. Can you write it? It has lost his headphones before he went to the park. Has lost his headphones before he went to the park. Very good. Super. Yeah. Good examples, guys. Please write them on. Every time you give me an example, write it on the text on, on, on our chat. That way everybody it, can actually see it. So that's a shawl for you guys that didn't know what a shawl is. That's a shawl. Shawls are very trendy on my plan. Hmm. Maybe. Do you remember that movie? Did you guys like that movie? I don't remember that movie. <laughs> it was E.T. It was super 80s, like super, super old, maybe 80s or 90s. I can't recall. I think it was 80s. I think. Yes, 80s. 80s, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's go with our next example. Okay, so we have the lemon and we have the verb peeled. Now give me an example with lemon and peeled. With the present perfect and the present perfect continues. Do you know peel, by the way, peel, it's pelar as a verb, and also peel, it's cascara, by the way. So it all depends. It can be a noun and it can be a verb. So it can be cascara or it can be pelar, by the way. Mm -hmm. What is the participle of the verb peel? It's regular, so it ends in ed, so it would be peeled. Peeled. Okay. Peeled. Uh, mm -hmm. You some um, apples. I have peels, peeled some apples. But in this case, it's a lemon, so it would be I have peeled. I have peeled some lemons. Okay. Right. Okay, I have peeled some lemons, okay, before. I have peeled some lemons before, okay? Very good, a difficult task, right? Because they're very small, so especially the, our Salvadoran ones are very small, so it's very difficult to peel them, okay? I have peeled, that's present perfect, very good. What about present perfect continues? Give me an example with peeling and lemons. I have been peeling some lemons in order to do a uh, refreshment. Okay, very good. Or lemonade. Uh huh. In order to do oh. a refreshment or a lemonade, very good. I have been peeling lemons for hours to make a lemonade. If you want to exaggerate or to make a refreshment, right? So you can exaggerate actually. Very good. Very good. Super. Okay. Let's go with our next one. What is up with this hair? Let's see. Okay, let's make one with drunk coffee or eaten soup. Let's make examples. 
present perfect and present perfect continues. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have been drinking coffee since I start work. Since or... I started, okay, since I started working. Since I started working. Uh -huh, since I started working this morning, for example, to be more specific. I have been drinking coffee since I started working this morning. Okay, very good. You can write it down. Okay, okay. super good example. What about eating soup? Present perfect. I have eaten soup every all the week. <laughs> now, what's very good, very good, super. I like that example. What is the difference between eating soup and drinking soup, guys? By the way. That the soup is uh, full uh -huh. um, uh, with food and, dr and drink with a beverage. Very good. If it's like the calito, just the soup, the liquid itself, then you would have to drink the soup. There's no food, you don't, you're not chewing. So if you're not doing the action of chewing, then you're drinking soup. But if it's all of a sudden a maruchan or, you know, a, a I don't know, sopa de patas, I'm thinking patas soup. <laughs> I'm thinking you're eating because you need to chew, right? So if there's an action, and you need to actually chew the food, then you're eating food. I, I'm sorry, you're eating soup. Otherwise, you're drinking soup if there are no food involved. So in this case, very good. I have eaten soup all week, you said, right? Very good, write your example, please, excellent. Let's take a look at the picture. What was the picture showing us? <laughs> okay, what do you think he was doing? Hmm. He has eating just eaten soup. soup. <laughs> okay, your next picture. She has had a dog for a few months, okay? And she has had a lizard for a few months. Okay, let's try to make an example with present perfect and present perfect continues. Dog or lizard? They don't have to be, they don't have to be similar. Remember, this is for another example. This is for another type of exercise. I'm using this just for the images and the purpose of present perfect and present perfect continues. So don't pay attention to the structure of the sentences here. I just give you like the keywords that I want you to make up the sentences, okay? So make an example with dot and make an example with lizard. And you can add the verb that you wish for this one. Um. She, uh, he he has he has found a dog in the morning when he was uh, running. He has he has no he he has found that's past verb no let's do found. he he found no hold on he has found yeah he has, he found, has found a dog a dog this morning while he was running you said. When we when he was running, yes. Okay, he has found a dog this morning while he was running. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. While he was running, okay. While he, while he was running. Mm -hmm. okay. It's not correct if I said uh, when. When he was running, yeah. Yeah. Also. Yeah. While ah, okay. and when both are correct. They're synonyms. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can type it. What about lizard? Give me an example with lizard. I have been chasing, I have been chasing a lizard for a few days. <laughs> okay. I have been chasing a lizard for a few days, huh? Then get it to maybe? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. I have been chasing a lizard for a few days now. Very good, very good. I like that one. You can write it down too. Okay, next image. Car and yacht. Do you guys know what a yacht is? It's kind of boat. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, super. It's a what, fancy what boat. The of, of, yeah, yeah, it's a fancy boat. Like rich or millionaires have yachts. The rich and famous. So it's a very fancy boat. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me an example. My friend has bought an old car recently. My friend has bought a new car recently. Very good. Mm -hmm. My friend has bought a new car recently. Very good. Uh huh. What about present perfect continuous? Maybe my, my friend has been uh, buying a cars when he changed his work. Okay, my friend has been buying cars every time he changes, every time, every he, changes, time he changes work. Work, mm -hmm. okay. Very good, every time he, because he, he does it every time, right? Every time he changes, he changes and, you know, he buys a new car, okay? Very good, okay. yeah, it's a good example. Mm -hmm. Super. The idea of me placing you with different examples or making you think, it's because real life is like that, guys. And that's the reason I ask you, this class is not only about me, but it's about you practicing. So if you, the more you practice, don't be scared of making mistakes because then again, that's the idea. The more mistakes you make, that's even better because the more you learn and you will always remember it. So I need you to practice. That way you get the hang of the topic in a different way so it's i want you all to practice and i want you all to participate okay so i want everybody from the list participating all of you come up with your own examples because i want to hear you okay so the more you participate the better for you this hour is for you guys okay okay super let's go with our next one. Oh, a cute baby let's find out huh a baby and woken up. Come with the example. Mm -hmm. The baby has been crying all day. Very good. The baby has been crying. Has been crying all day. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Good job. Another example. Baby has ate uh, his his food on, in the morning. The baby has ate his food in the morning. A in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the morning. Mm -hmm. The baby has very good because it's a past participle. So the baby has eaten eaten food this morning or huh or last. Okay, very good. Let's go with another one. Try to make, now I'm not gonna give you the sentence, I'm just giving you the picture. Try to make a sentence with this one. Present perfect and present perfect continues. She has been fighting with his mom, with with her mom. Very good, very good, Claudia. Uh -huh. She has been fighting with her mom. Very good. What would be the negative, Claudia, for this one? Your same example. She, in negative. Uh -huh. Negative form. Mm -hmm. She haven't. Uh, she haven't be she haven't been 
she haven't been fighting with her mom? Okay, she haven't been fighting with her mom. Yeah. Very good, very good, super. Okay, anybody else? That was present perfect continuous. Anybody else with the present perfect only? She hasn't. She hasn't cleaned up her teeth. <laughs> she hasn't cleaned her teeth. Very good, very good. She hasn't cleaned her teeth. Uh huh. Or she has cleaned her teeth. Good. Mm -hmm. okay. That would be the positive one for that one. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Even though the example was different, she has just punched her husband or she has just seen a spider. What do you guys think? Based on the yes. picture and the she reaction, like, like she has just punched her husband or that she just saw a spider. She had just seen a spider. Maybe she has seen she has seen a spider. She has just seen a spider. Let's find out. <gasps> no, <laughs> she had just punched her husband. Not a good example, but it was funny. It was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, not expecting that. She has just punched her husband. Punched her husband. That's to punch, it's to do that. Uh -huh. Oh, let me go back. So with the next example, based on that, what do you think happened? He hasn't shaved his beard for a long time. <laughs> he hasn't shaved his beard for a long time. Very good. Okay. Let's find out. Let's find out. And based on the two ideas we have, two options, A or B, what do you think? Has just opened a bottle of champagne or has totally changed his image? I think is the, the first one. He has just, he has opened, just opened a bottle of champagne. Okay, let's find out. Because that is a reaction. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a normal reaction. Okay, let's see. <gasps> so what's the answer? Do you remember the answer? She has just uh, she, he has change. already changed so change, image. change of her image. Okay, he has just Change. What about the ing present perfect continuous? Can you give me an example with that? Changing. He, he has. He has been changing his image completely. Excellent. He has been changing his image completely. Very good. Very good. Super. Continue. He has totally changed his image. If we want to be a little bit more dramatic with the examples. What do you think based on the preview? Do you think he had just failed an exam or he has passed all his exams? Fail an exam. Okay, let's find out. <gasps> so what's the answer? He's just passed all his exams. Very good. Present perfect continues. How can we make an example with the present perfect continues? Something different with this picture. Give me other examples rather than the one we just saw. I want you to elaborate more. More examples, but different with this image. He has been graduating with the honors in his school. He has been graduating with honors, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, another one. He has been smiling for a while. He has been smiling for a while. Very good. That's a good one. He has been smiling. Yeah, because take a picture. So many pictures, especially for special moments like this, right? Weddings, graduations, people have to be with the smile suspended for a very long period of time. Okay. Very good. Very good. I like your examples, guys. Very good job. He has been 
Okay. He has been he has been the the funny the funny uh -huh. partner in the in the university. Okay. He has been the funniest in his class or he has been the funniest. Okay. Uh huh. He has been the funniest in his uh -huh. we're good. What about this picture? Ooh. Chewing gum or dog poo? Maybe in dog poo. Maybe dog poo. Okay, let's figure out. Let's find out. <laughs> chewing it's gum. About chewing gum, yes. Now, I have a question. What's the difference between chewing gum and bubble gum? So what's the difference? I think the chewing gum is when the gum is outside uh, on the street. Okay. And bubble gum? Bubble gum is like when you you do some some bubbles with your mouth. Very good. I don't know if you guys remember back in the days. Well, I remember bazooka a lot. So I'm going to bring it back to you guys. Bazooka, I think, was one of the favorite bubble gums ever, right? I know. Now, bazooka, with bazooka bubble gum, you could make big bubbles. So there's two types of bubble gums. I'm sorry, chewing gums. The ones you can make bubble with and the ones that are, that are only to clean your mouth somehow that you cannot actually do bubbles. They're just like to somewhere, you know, they were made just like to uh, pacify you. They're like pacifiers, you know, pacifiers are like pepes, that they try to keep you calmed. And the other ones that are actually to make the big bubble gum. So the ones that are actually big to make bubble gums or some way like that, those are called bubble gums. But chewing gum are like trident, for example, or I don't know, Florence, which are just to refresh and just for you to have there. You're not going to be making bubble gums because they're, one, they're very tiny. Two, their flavor, some of them, not all of them, but some of their flavor goes so, away super fast. So that is chewing gum because you just have it inside and you're just chewing. And bubble gum is intended for kids to actually make big bubbles. So that's the difference. Okay, thank that's you very much. Even though it's the same, it's just a synonym, but actually, in reality, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay? But it's pretty much okay. a synonym. Interesting fun fact. See? So he has tapped and chewing gum. Okay, next one. Let's find out. What do you think? They have just started a football match, or they have just started a wedding? Not RB. I think it was started a wedding, right? That was the first one. Second one. Okay. Um, they have just started a football match or they have just got married? I heard letter B there. They've just got married. They have just got married? Okay. They are just getting married. Could be. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very good. They had just got married. Going back to the picture, what else can we come up with? Uh -huh. Give me other examples with ING, present perfect continuous, please. He has been under the... Um, under the, the surpri uh, surprise... <laughs> balloon when that explodes explode i don't know he was he he has been under the surprise balloon he has been under the surprise balloon when it exploded maybe well uh, yeah correct when when it it exploded, it exploded. Mm -hmm. when it exploded. or when it burst also you can say burst because burst. exploded okay. exploded is more like for bombs and yeah and and for balloon it's just burst because it had confetti inside so it bursts mm -hmm. confetti uh-huh okay very good 
October. How how I can write the the how can I write? Yeah, how can I write um the other word? Oh first it's B U yeah. like this. B U R S T like this. Yeah. Okay. So see Thank that's you. burst. So when you okay. But usually they burst when they have something inside, like for example, water or confetti or mm -hmm. anything else. So when they have something inside, is that's when they burst, okay? Okay. Usually because they surprise you. Mm -hmm. Now, give me negative Present perfect and negative present perfect continuous example with this picture. I want you to elaborate. Negative ones. He hasn't been crying for a while. He hasn't been crying for a while. Very good. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? He hasn't been studying for 15 days. <laughs> Maybe more, 45 days. He hasn't been studying for 15 days. Very good, very good, guys. Mm -hmm. Super, guys. Now, is it water? Is it crystal clear? Is it orchata? Is it a little bit of coffee? How is person perfect? How is this topic for you guys? <clears throat> do you consider it? Which one do you think you manage better? Do you think you manage better present perfect or present perfect continuous? Yes. How do you feel more comfortable? Yes. Get present in. perfect or present perfect continuous? How do you guys feel more comfortable? Present perfect, I think. Present perfect? Okay. Now, going to our famous live worksheets. I love them. I simply love them and I think they're very good exercises, especially for you guys. There's a, like a lot of worksheets. We're going to do one together. The difference between, and I'm going to stop the other activity because I want us to also focus here. So what I'm going to do, it's the same exercise we did the other time. I'm going to send you to groups, okay? So you can actually do this worksheet together, okay? I'll send you the link to this group and to WhatsApp. That way you guys have it, okay? So I'm gonna stop sharing right now and I'm gonna make the groups that way you guys go and work. So one from, I'm gonna make two groups. So one of you has to share your screen so you all do it together, okay? So you all do the worksheet together and you have 10 minutes to actually work on this worksheet. If not less, if you can take less than that, that would be fantastic, okay? So I'm gonna make the groups right now and Ready, set, go. And I'm gonna send you the link. I'm gonna send it here and I'm gonna send it through the group on WhatsApp. This is the this is the material. Uh, what's what's the 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 the, the work? You all have to work as a group, okay? You all have to work as a team. You're one team, okay? Eric, Gloria, Jahaira, and Ramez. You you are 
all a team and you need to complete the worksheet. At the end, you click finish, submit, and it will give you a score. If it's highlighted in green, that's because you have it correct. If it's highlighted in red, it's because those are your wrong ones, okay? Okay. Okay, who, who starts? I guess for number one is uh, letter A. Am I usually goes to school by powers? Yes. Yes, so for me, all of, <laughs> all every answer is good, so I don't know. Yes, yes, it's true. Yes, I think so. Mm, it's confused activity. Yeah. Mm. Remember that this activity, oh, it might have mistakes. That's the idea. It's the idea for you to, number one, analyze it. If it has mistakes. Number two, try to go along with the topic. If it's present, in this case, it's present simple, past tense, present continuous, or present perfect. So we're going to try to focus on present, present perfect, okay? So the idea is to practice the present perfect. Okay. Even though okay. it might have all tenses, and even though some of the answers might all be correct, or because, for example, Emma usually goes, Emma usually is going to school by bus, Emily usually went or has gone to school by bus. So the idea is for you, like, based on your analysis, to find out which one would be the best option to come up with, okay? Analyze. It can even have mistakes. That's the idea. If you find mistakes, good for you. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. So in this case, we we may talk about Emma usually has gone to school by bus. Yes. Yeah. The person perfectly has gone. Yes. Yeah. Um, the the second one, the, <coughs> they. They have meat. I meat. Yes. They. They have just meet a friend. I don't know. Because there are two uh, more two words. So what? Mm. They are meeting just a meet a friend. Mm, I know. It's letter B from number six, right? Yeah, letter B. Mm -hmm. Later, I sometimes Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> is the pass off where? Yes, War. War. Okay. Letter C. I sometimes wear my father's clothes. Mm -hmm. Yes. David was letter C. Very tired. Okay. Yes. Yes. Letter C. Yeah. Met a friend. They have yes, met, mm -hmm. yes. Sorry that I interrupt you guys. Remember to highlight the options so you get a score at the end, okay? So go back and, and click on the answers. They should turn like yellow. Click on the option for each one, how that you have chosen, okay. And then at the end, click on, when you finish the exercise and click submit to get the, the results. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, thank you. So I think in the, the two sentence, 
we may choose the option. Mm -hmm. um, they are meeting, just have met. Mm. I uh, think is is uh, the uh, option, but the answer could be they have just met a friend. I think so. So, the option. Letter D. Remember to look for indicators. One of the important things about this exercise is to also look for keywords. For example, in the first one, Emma, usually, usually is like frequently. Okay, so look for keywords that indicate you whether it's past, present, future. It's what's the frequency of the action too. So check on that as well. Okay, those are like your key indicators too that will give you like hints and say, ha, huh, this is, might be present, this might be past, this is present perfect, etc." Try to look for those little key indicators, okay? So it could be every person. We watch a letter B. Sí, 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 sí. Sí, watch. 15. It was the last night. Tim and Bill rarely. Mm, walk. 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 A. I guess it's letter C because, well, I, I, I don't see the infinitive if it was a letter A. Very good. Actually, mm. look for indicators. Go ahead and also focus on those little indicators, okay? Like if how frequent the, the action is done, if it's going towards the past, the future, the present. Look for those key indicators that tell you if it was last week, if it's today, if it's usually, if it's often, okay? So those are last week, okay, last night. So try to like look for little indicators that give you hints on which tense are you, which tense you actually have to go with. Okay, okay 17, we, we visited, we visited, see. Yes. It is very hot, the sun is shining, B. Very hot. <laughs> it's shining because it's, a, uh -huh, it's in the moment. It makes sense. Very use, very usually. Has takes. Has take. I guess it's letter A, takes. Takes, uh -huh. because it's mm -hmm. an action that she does usually uh, regularly. It's, it's an habit. Uh, we pass. Have, have pass, yes, pass is pass. Pass have passed is continued. <laughs> <laughs> let's see let's go up you what was your score go up go up go up let's let me first check on the score go up go up on the screen up, up. all the way up to yours all the way up at the beginning okay that's where it shows the score Nice, nine out of 10, okay. Let's go to the first one. Emma, usually, you see your indicator, usually. So usually, goes. Is present. Mm -hmm. goes because it's because giving it's you that habit. usually. Uh 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go to another one that's wrong. I sometimes, my father's clothes, sometimes, indicator. Where? I sometimes, uh -huh. it, where? So those are the key indicators, a. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have, let me check on the other one. They always, always, always? Play. Mm -hmm. Very good, they always play, frequency adverts, you see? And only those, super. Good job, guys. Okay, thank you. Your teacher. score is now very good. Thank you. Let me go to the other room and find out. So right now you can weedy weedy, okay? By the way, before I forget, for tomorrow's topic is child prodigies. So I want you to pick. I want you to investigate a kid, a little kid, on the internet that has it's super clever, okay? So I want you to investigate a, a kid prodigy, okay? Okay. So it could be somebody that when he was three years old, he's playing uh, cons piano concerts or somebody that it's a calculator because, you know, at a very young age. So kids are like genius, okay? So pick one and okay. you're going to be talking about that genius. Now, the exercise is going to be a little bit complex because you will be talking about him whether in present perfect or in present perfect continue. I'll let you know tomorrow. Okay. okay, teacher. So it's just ready to. Um, I'll be back with you in a bit. Let me check out the other group, how they are doing. Almost finished? Yeah, almost. almost. Okay, so for almost. The, um, almost. Okay. Uh, the, the other one, we, a horror film last night. We, watched. we, have, watched. we have watched. Uh, this, we have watched. Yeah. Watched. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tim and Billy really to work. Have have worked have maybe. Worked. Have worked. Yeah. Okay. We, we have visited our grandma last week because our visiting is right now. Letter C? Yeah. Letter, Letter D. 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 Uh, Maybe D, D okay. because, yeah. This one. Yes. We have visited. It's not simple pass or I think both are correct because both are in past or or just happened but like the the teacher says we're talking about uh, present continuous and present perfect continuous something like that so that's why I think is letter D, but I don't know. Mm. I I think this in an action that uh, that it happened uh, or mm -hmm. still happened. So, uh, I think I think it's a letter C, but I don't know. Mm. Maybe yeah, you're right. But um, we we may talk about we are busy in our ah uh, no. Yeah, I think you are right. Maybe it's letter C. Letter C, yes. Okay. Okay. The, the other one, it is very hot. The sun is shining. It's letter shining. B. Yeah. It's shining. It's shining. Okay. Okay. Betty usually her sister to school and takes. Usually. Is taking. Has taken. Or has taken. He's or has taken. Letter uh, D. D. Usually is present. Remember present. your higher frequency present. adverbs. Present. Usually, yeah. sometimes, present. always. I, I saw a couple of examples on, on this worksheet that have frequency adverbs. Always, sometimes, usually, never. Okay. So with frequency adverbs. <coughs> Mm. Take. 
That's taken. Mm, it's taking. Letter B. I don't know. With frequency adverbs, you usually, what's the tense <coughs> you use with frequency adverbs? Mm. It goes in the present. Uh -huh. So it would be present tense. So for all your frequency adverbs, they're going to be in present. So it would be Betty usually takes or Betty sometimes takes. Betty always takes. So it's going to be present. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, it's only only a, a question about teacher says uh, the seven don't they sometimes it could be a frequently adverse it, sometimes it's a frequency yeah it's a frequency adverb and something interesting about something sometimes is that it it's the only frequency adverb can go at the beginning in the middle or at the end of the sentence so yes it's present i sometimes wear okay okay mm -hmm. thank you okay um, the, the last one we no, yeah. mm. D. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think uh, C because the same action is happening. We passed our exam two days ago. Yes. Unfinish. Uh, and usually when you click on finish, you will see the results on your left side. It will give you an option to click. There. Check my answers. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So am I usually see? And my usually frequency advert goes, okay? Um, they always, always is a frequency advert, play. They. We, last night. So it happened last night, so it's simple, past. Simple they, past. Uh -huh, okay, we watched a horror film last night. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, okay. We have watched a film for weeks, for example, that could have been for present perfect. We're indicating that for weeks we have done that. Um, Tim and Bill rarely, rarely it's a frequency adverb too. Walk to work, okay? Walked. Walk to work. Mm -hmm. Walks to work. Walked. Tim walk. and Bill rarely walk because they're both, so they're plural, so the verb doesn't have to go in third person, so walk. Mm -hmm. We're good. Oh, we're running out of time. I'm going to send you to the main screen because I need to explain you guys a, a homework for tomorrow, okay? Okay. Break rooms, close all break rooms. Guys, so for tomorrow, I, I think I explained the other team about it. It's 10 p.m. Time flies with you guys. I'm sorry I'm taking longer than expected. But for tomorrow, remember, you have an important homework. So you have to investigate on, on Google, okay? A prodigy kid, kid, sorry. Somebody who's a genius or, or that a, when he was a baby, he started playing piano or somebody who was at a very uh, early age started painting or somebody that's very good in math, okay? Or it's very good with skateboards. A kid that is a prodigy, that for some reason he's already a surgeon or a doctor, uh, you know, like Doggy Hauser, kind of like Doggy Hauser. So you're going to look for one case, and for tomorrow you're going to talk about him or her, that little kid, kid's prodigy. I'm going to send you examples on WhatsApp so you have a better idea of what I'm talking about. It, you're going to talk about only one, and I'm going to choose tomorrow, it, tomorrow. You only have, you need some information about this kid or a video you want to share or information about him, like we did the other day with the museums, but you're gonna do it either on present perfect or present perfect continuous. I'll let you know tomorrow, okay? So that way you can practice as well and that way you can practice the tenses, okay? 
So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for connecting today. And as always, have a blessed night, okay? Bye, guys. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. <laughs> okay, pues. Salud, pues. Later. Bye, teacher. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Good night.